the little Peugeot I'm about to use on the little road trip through Argentina and Paraguay has got another problem which is broken seatbelt buckle and I'll try to at least provisionally replace it with one of the seatbelt buckles from the rear seat which are hidden underneath. In order to do that um, I have to unfortunately remove the whole seat, whole passenger seat. Um, so I moved it forward in the um, rang rails, um, you know, little, hole, um, little screws, one on each side, which is need to remove with little torques. Now I need to move the whole seat back as far as possible and follow the same procedure at the front. So after removing all four screws there should be no stopping you from removing the whole seat. It should come off easily without any problems. You might need support of another person to lift it out of the door. This time I'm going to attempt it myself since this seat is not very heavy. So I shall make an attempt to replace this useless broken seat buckle with one of those from underneath the back seat. And this is the one I'm going to use as a donor. Fortunately, it seems that it's just a case of missing spring, which I managed to source from the other buckle. Which just, I just need to squeeze it in there and lock it against the little clip just down there. So, except the missing spring, there was a little metal bar missing as well, which has to go just there to lock the actual seatbelt buckle. So, it's just a case of removing the plastic cover from its rails and then sliding the little seal bar in place. So it should look something like this. As after putting the orange plastic back on it should work like that. You can quickly test it with existing seat belt. It locks in and it unlocks easily. Put the plastic cover back on, back all back together working nicely. Just need to slide it back into the slot, attach the screw and the washer, put back everything in place in reverse order and put the seat back in the car.